Hey guys, it's Alicia. Welcome back to Beauty From A to Z. Today, my video for you is going to be kind of a haul slash favorites, although it's not really either of those. Basically, these are some products that I recently picked up. I haven't had them for very long, but my experience with them thus far has been excellent and I love them so much that I just wanted to make a quick little video to share them with you. So I don't know what we would call it, but regardless, let's just jump right in. I have a tendency to ramble and I want to make this video short and sweet, so let's just get to the products. But the foundation that I have been loving even more, and it was a completely out of the blue surprise, is this Coverall Cream Foundation by Wet n Wild. I was like, what? I, when I was um, searching, you know, foundations on YouTube, um, I came across a couple girls that had tried this foundation. And I love so many products from Wet n Wild, but I've never tried any of their foundations because I just, honestly, I mean, their quality is there for their other products, but I just never went there with the foundation. I just didn't think that it would be worth spending the money, even though it's so, so cheap. But when I saw a lot of girls really loving this foundation, I was like, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. And again, I have really dry skin, and this formula is a cream foundation. It's very thick, and again, it's very wet. Um, but it blends into the skin beautifully. It gives me medium. I can build it up to full coverage. I'm wearing it on my face today. I used it with a primer. But I love it. I love it so much. And it was like $4.50. Um, it feels great on my skin. It looks great on my skin. I was beyond thrilled to discover this foundation. So another main reason why I wanted to make this video for you is to share this little gem from Wet n Wild. I mean, who knew? I mean, I love so many products for them, but a foundation too. I mean, they just hit it out of the park with this one. So if you have dry skin and you're looking for a medium to full coverage foundation that lasts and lasts and lasts, um, but feels very lightweight, gives you kind of like a matte but more satin finish, um, definitely go try this. It's amazing. S blew my mind, literally. Blew my mind. Okay. Now, I am constantly on the search for a concealer from the drugstore that's cheap, that's going to give me maximum coverage. I have a really um, hard time covering my under eye bags, um, so I'm always looking for that concealer that's just going to wow me. I have so many concealers, but I just can't stop buying them. I mean, it's just like a constant quest, just like foundation with me. But I was so thrilled to find this concealer. It is the Rimmel Match Perfection 2-in-1 Concealer and Highlighter. It just looks like that. And it has this little brush tip, like that. And this concealer is fabulous. I love it so much. I used it under my eyes today to cover um, my under eye circles and discoloration works great for that works great as a highlighter i used it down the bridge of my nose the top of my lip um, it was amazing for that loved it um, this does run kind of light um, i think i got the second to lightest shade anyway because i like my under eye concealers to be um, a few shades lighter than my skin tone because i like to use them as a highlighter as well i really love that bright look under the eye and this is a match perfection, so I'm not sure, I mean, I'm assuming that the match perfection means it kind of color adjusts to your skin. And I thought this might be too light for me, but it works perfect. I love it. I love the coverage, the consistency. Um, I've been setting, setting it with a powder, but it hasn't been creasing on me. Um, so honestly, if you have not tried this, run out and get it. I think it was like $6. I got it at um, Walgreens, but it's amazing and I was so thrilled to find that. Another reason that I wanted to make this video to share this product with you. Now I have a few eye products. I found this Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil. And this is in the color Continuous Almond. And it just looks like that. And this is just a skin tone color, matte finish. Um, 
eyeshadow pencil. And I've been using this as a base for my eyeshadow, kind of comparable to the Painterly Paint Pot, and I loved it. It was really comparable, it doesn't crease, it blends out really nice on my eye. It's a great base for my shadow. I again used it today on um, under this eyeshadow look. And I think it was two, three dollars at the most. So for a really inexpensive alternative to the Painterly Paint Pot, I would really recommend this Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil. I haven't tried any of the other colors, but I'm sure they're just as good as this one. But everyone loves the um, skin finish for an eyeshadow base, so I was really pleasantly surprised and thrilled to find this. Um, now I have a couple eyeliners that I have been in love with as well. This one is again from Jordana. You can find them at Walgreens. They're kind of um, a lesser known brand because they don't carry it everywhere, but their products are super, super cheap and really amazing. Everything I've tried, I've loved. I have, um, I've, I went to try some more products because I just got the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volume Mascara and I've been loving, loving that. That was like $3. I love their lip liners. And I was trying to find an eyeliner that would kind of make the winged liner process a little bit easier for me. So I found this Fabu Liner from Jordana. It looks like that. And it has this little thin felt tip. Very precise. And I loved it. That's what I did with my winged eyeliner with today. And it just makes the process so, so easy. It's really super black. If you can see it right there, it goes on really nice. And sometimes I find with these um, liquid or felt tip liners that if you go over certain areas that you already um, put liner on, it kind of builds up and then flakes off. Um, but this doesn't do that. You can just pile it on and it looks just as good as your first layer. It lasts. Um, I've just been really, really pleased with it. So if you're looking for a liner that's going to make the winged eyeliner process a little bit easy, easier for you, maybe if you're a beginner, I would definitely recommend you to try this Fabu Liner by Jordana. And I also just picked this up um, from another kind of smaller makeup brand. Um, it's called Essence, and this is their gel eyeliner. I got this at Ulta for $3.99, and it's their black gel eyeliner. It just looks like this, and um, I've always been a huge fan of gel liners. That's kind of been my staple eyeliner and I've sort of been trying to branch out to these liquid and felt tip eyeliners to kind of try new things. But gel line eyeliners have always been, you know, a very close friend of mine. So I wanted to get this because I'm running out of my Maybelline um, gel liner. I think it's Define a Line. I forget what it's called, but the Maybelline one. I love that one, but it's almost gone, kind of drying out a little bit. So I wanted to try this, and it is awesome. It's so, so black. It's creamy. It glides on so nicely. It sets. I mean, it takes a few seconds for it to set, but once it sets, it's on there. It's not moving. It's not budging. Um, again, it's a really deep black. It's creamy. I used it actually on my waterline today. Um, and I've just been loving it, and for the price, I think it's amazing, so I just wanted to mention it. If you're out in the market for a new gel liner, I would definitely give this one a try. Great value and a wonderful, wonderful product. Just a few more things. I wanted to make this video quick, quick, quick. So I know I've talked about these before. They're the NYX Butter Glosses, and I just recently discovered... Um, I have two other colors, and I picked up this third. This one is in Creme Brulee. And I actually got this tip from Emily Noel, the beauty broadcast. I've been watching her for years and years. But in one of her recent videos, she said one of her favorite nude lips is using the NYX, um, the NYX, what is this called? Uh, retractable lip liner that's actually waterproof in the color nude. It just looks like this. Awesome retractable pencil. And she likes to use this lip liner with the creme brulee on top, and I love it. It is the perfect nude lip. It gives me just enough color, but the butter gloss gives you a really nice shine. I'm wearing it on my lips today. I'll just do a little swatch of the liner. And then the gloss for you. Really, really pretty. 
I don't know if you can see it there, but it's the perfect nude lip, really cheap. I got these at Ulta, but they're starting to carry NYX and Targets now. Um, so I definitely, if you're looking for a cheap nude lip, give these a try, I've been loving that. Um, also, I recently discovered this e.l.f. lip exfoliator. Since it's been winter, my skin, my lips, everything, I have dry skin as it is, but in the winter, it's just so incredibly dry. So I was looking for um, a lip exfoliator, and I searched YouTube, obviously, and all online, and a lot of people recommended this one. It's from e.l.f. again, and I don't know if you can see, it's got the little... Um, grits in there so I just put this on rub it all over my lips and then just kind of wash it off with some cold water and it really takes all that dead flaky dry skin right off your lips giving you the perfect base for whatever lip product you want to put on there so I highly highly recommend it I think it was like three four dollars at the most from Target again an elf product and if you're looking for a lovely exfoliant for your lips I would definitely recommend this all right, the last thing. I am also a highlighter whore. I am always looking for new highlighters. I just love that dewy, luminous glow, and I'm always trying to create it in different ways. So when I was at Ulta the other day, I was looking through the NYX products, and I saw, um, I've never seen this before from them. I don't think it's new. It might be new, I'm not sure, but it's their NYX Illuminator. It just comes in a little package like this. And this is the product, this is the Illuminator in Enigmatic. It's sort of a pink toned highlighter. I'll just swatch it on the back of my hand here. Highlighters, it's hard for them to come across on camera, but that's it right there, right above the lip colors. It's a beautiful, beautiful highlight. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. I think you can probably tell better on my cheeks than the swatch on my hand, but it just gives you the most dewy, luminous glow. I like something with a little bit of a pinky toned. Um, it kind of gets me ready and in gear for spring. I'm so excited for spring. Come on, spring, we're all waiting for you. I just can't wait for this cold weather to be over. And these highlighters are sort of bringing that transition on and it just makes me super excited for it um but yeah if you're looking for a nice beautiful dewy pinky highlighter definitely give this one a try from nyx i can't remember exactly how much it was i want to say around seven dollars really not bad for a wonderful highlighter all right so that's everything i wanted to talk about i hope you enjoyed this little video about um, my latest drugstore finds on products that I've been loving and I would suggest you to try as well. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I put out at least one video a week with reviews and tutorials, tips and advice. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching as always. And until next time, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.